very, very happy. The toilet brush holder. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> We're certainly going to have a clean toilet. <laughs> no, no, no. Could come in handy. Especially if we get a second toilet. <laughs> yeah, or three or four. Dear Blanche, we were all excited about Ray's upcoming wedding. It's a pity you weren't able to join us, because it turned out to be one of the more remarkable events of recent times. But an odd quirk of fate, it was the generous offer of your fishing hut for Ray's stag party, which set these momentous events in train. I reckon it's a great idea of Dolsey's to make that a bathroom shower. Then he got a present that you wouldn't normally get. Yeah, I would never have thought to give you a soap dish in the shape of a sperm oil, Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. Yeah, what? Guess what Cyril and Dawn gave us? Uh, let me think. A lavatory brush holder? No. A soap dish in the shape of a sperm whale. Oh, good one. Right, we're going to move on if we're going to pick up the mini tanker and get down to Blanche's batch. Now, you're not going to let him drink too much, are you? Nah, just a few quiets. Oh, come on, Glennis, it's traditional. Yeah, the condemned man ate a hearty meal, eh, Ray? Oh, Derek. <laughs> oh, it's just a joke. <laughs> Hey, uh, what should I take? Nothing, we've got it all. Yeah, we've got the food, we've got the booze. We've got the boot polish. What are the boot polish for? Barry, what are you planning? Oh, uh, don't worry, Glance, we won't damage the goods. <laughs> I've got everything under control. The last thing you need tomorrow is a screaming hangover. Look, don't listen to Barry, he's all talk. Come on! Come on, Come on. speed it up. Come on, maybe <laughs> plenty of time for that later. Come on! So... I'll see you at the church then. You certainly will. Put that woman down. Crikey, they'll be at it on the lawn next. <laughs> Gee, you took your time, didn't you? Didn't you Barry was saying you thought you'd be out on the lawn next? Yeah, that's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Oh, come on, mate. Lighten up, lighten up. Right, first off, the lawn will pick up the mini tanker. I thought Ernie was picking up the mini tanker. No, that's the other mini tanker. We got two of them. Yay. Hey, hey. Good morning, boys. Looking good. Now, well, big crowd coming, Ray? Yeah. Yeah, Dennis's dad seems to be doing it right. Oh, Lance talking to you again now. <laughs> yeah. What? Really? Yeah, well, he seems to be pulling out all the stops in the guest list. Well, there's uh, a couple coming from Oregon. Uh, there's uh, an aunt and uncle coming from Canada and a whole bunch of people from Aussie. Mm. Oh, a little United Nations there, eh? Probably a fair bit of uniting going on later on, eh? <laughs> You also have the family well represented, Ray? Oh, yep. Yeah. Brother's coming down from Auckland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll, it'll be a great occasion. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's wonderful when families get together again, you know, like, like, like Ray and, uh, and, um, and his, his brother and that. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's have a show. Right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> It was a merry little procession that wove its way towards your fishing hut at the mouth of the mighty Ranganui, Blanche, and bonhomie and fellowship were the order of the day. Derek, turn the pressure down, you moron. Don't call me a moron. God, you can't make a barman out of an accountant. <laughs> oh, this is magic, Ray. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of my stag party. Good, was it? Mm. Don't forget it. What happened? Well, I can't remember. That's why I'll never forget it. Yeah, but what did you do for your stag party, Derek? Oh, I was very quiet, actually, Dawson. I just had tea at a mother's place. I thought you were supposed to see the bride night for the wedding. Well, I didn't. I mean, she had tea in another room. <laughs> Come on, Bowles, get stuck out. Hey, Clary, these sausages are burnt. Only on the outside. You're frozen in the middle. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way I like them. <laughs> yeah, we'll be having a more sumptuous fare tomorrow, eh, Ray? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've been preparing it for the last three weeks. Yeah, he's putting on a whole roast kettle vest. Oh, you're going to need a pretty big microwave for that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Lance is making a, uh, a sculpture of the Statue of Liberty out of margarine. What? Well, it's in honour of these, this crowd from Oregon. Right, here we go. Dennis, hold your hand up a bit higher. Dulcie, does that look straight to you? It looks fine. Beryl, you've done a wonderful job. 
Glynis, you look a picture. Here's to the blushing bride. Oh, I wonder what the blushing bridegroom's doing now. Blushing? It'll be their day. Don't worry about them. They can't come to any trouble here. And Derek's looking after them. Yeah! Yeah! The talking duck, uh, the hitchhiker, and we are Glennis, all the way from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Miniature TV, AM, FM radio, weather oh, station, and it also makes the morning coffee. <laughs> it is wonderful. It's nothing like American technology. Um, Taiwanese, actually. I hope it fits in with your system here. Oh, Ray will know all about that. Be the only thing you know anything about then. Dad, Ray is very handy. Hey, where is this lucky Raymond? When do we get to meet him? Oh, not till tomorrow. He's spending the night with his friends. Just a few quiet drinks. So anyway, it's all the schools. You know, I'm sad sometimes that my marriage didn't work out. Yeah. I didn't try, Derek. I didn't I? I didn't try. Oh, you did? Yeah, well, I did. Well, you would have. Yeah, well, I did. Yeah. And so did I. Yeah, and you know, your wife is a lovely girl. Mm. A lovely, You're lovely girl. So I have a, a toast, a toast to Glennis. No, no, her name's Dulcie. No, no, Dulcie's your wife. <laughs> I know. Well, Ray's not marrying your wife. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't permit it. No. Ray is marrying Glennis. Well, that's what I said. A toast. A toast. Hey, you guys, a toast to Glennis. To Glennis. To Glennis. Ray. All right. Yeah, right. Ray. Yeah, 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 Ray. I tell you what, a man can't go to sleep and toast his own bride at the same time. I've always said that. <laughs> 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 without a life jacket. Oh, yeah. Get a life jacket on. I want to say, oh, say get a couple of good 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 good. Good. Now, not a me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he's going to be tying the knot tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking thirsty, mate. Give him a beer. Yeah. seemed like a good idea at the time, Blanche, and we were sure Ray and Glennis would laugh about it for years to come. I tell you what, we could frame it and give it to them and call it the Volga Bowman. <laughs> but in the cold, clear light of dawn, it was a very different picture. So this dwarf, you know, he had a hump back, he looked like Quasimodo, he wasn't, <laughs> but his face rang a bell. He was a dead ringer for him. <laughs> oh! He says to this astronaut, Listen, what was the number of your mission? And the astronaut said, I don't know, if the number was on the outside of the rocket. Are hey, you jokers listening? Stop the money. Hey, the boat's gone. Oh. Ray's gone with it. Oh, bloody irresponsible. The post was nowhere near the water last night. Even the tide come in. So these were taken last night? Uh, yes, 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 they were. And he was in this state when you lot, you put him in the dinghy and then let the dinghy float away? Well, I, that, that's the way it looks. I mean, we hadn't planned for the dinghy to float away. Right. So, why is he wearing a life jacket? Oh, <clears throat> water safety. It was a, you know, a, a joke. Funny joke. D did you think he might have gone out to sea? No, he'd never make across the bar. You know, bloke would be out of his mind to try that in a dinghy. Well, he didn't have much choice, did he? No. But, but if he did tip out, I mean, he would have floated, wouldn't he? I mean, he did have a life jacket on. Yeah, so I see from these uh, amusing photos. 
Is there anything that, that we, we can do? Look, we've alerted every boat in the area. There's an air search starting in half an hour. Let's get started along the beach. What for? To see if anything's washed up. Excuse me. You know, I, I couldn't forgive myself if anything's washed up. Look, you've got to stop talking like that, Derek. Just think he, he's young, he, he's fit, so he, he can swim. He's got a life jacket. Yeah, he's got a life jacket. Yeah, he's got a life jacket. <laughs> hey, guys, I've got some news for you. So he's safe and, and well. And bloody furious. A Russian trawler picked him up just off the coast. Oh, oh fantastic. Where can we pick him up? Yeah, because he's getting married in about six hours. He's not, you know. Why? Because that trawler won't be coming into port for another five days. If you guys want him, you're going to have to get him yourself. Well, well, thank you, officer. We're sorry to put you through this so much. She's not very happy, is she? Well, she's not the only one. We've got about six hours to think up a story for Glennis. <laughs> it's going to have to be a good story. Well, I know a good story. Hmm? Yeah, about this nun, that short-sighted octopus, and see the band oh, fight. Shut up. <laughs> Right, Derek, go inside, pick up the soups, act as though nothing's happened and come round to my place. We've got a lot of organising to do. But I still think we should tell them. Derek, just do it. And don't worry, it'll be all right. <laughs> Derek? Huh. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm home. Where's Ray? Uh, he's, uh, he's out there. Well, aren't you going to bring him in? Uh, he's, he's further out than that. He's, uh, he's about. He's out and about. Uh, we thought we might get changed over at Barry's place. The morning suits are all here. So they are. Well, I might just pop in and pick them up and take them over to Barry's place. We thought it would be more convenient if we all got changed in the same uh, room. Derek, are you feeling all right? Yes. Never hmm. better. <laughs> Well, I hope you three aren't going to start drinking again. We don't want a tipsy groom. No. Just a groom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what do we pay taxes for? Oh, I'd say you're the one with the attitude problem, mate. Barry, where are you? Oh, oh right. Uh, thanks for nothing. Oh, well, so much for the Air Force. Oh, well, that's it then. I mean, we'll, we'll just have to make a clean best of the whole thing. The wedding will just have to be called off. All right, well, you ring up Glennis and tell her that. Well, I, I, I would, uh, but, um, but you're the best man. It'd be better off coming from you. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, just hold on a moment. Uh, I'll put you on to Derek. Hello? Oh, hello, Glennis. Uh, well, he's, he's safe and well. Mm. Uh, he's, um... Uh, he's scratching his head at the moment. <laughs> And now he's scratching his arms. Uh, and now uh, he's... Oh, he, 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 he's washing, yes, he's washing his hair under the shower, that's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, well, I'll, I'll tell him when he gets out, but that could be some time, Glennis, because, uh, as you know, he, he really likes very long showers. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you hadn't noticed. Well, he, well, he does. Yes, he, he, he does now. <laughs> look, 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 Glenn, uh, we'll see you at the church, okay? Yeah, okay, bye. We are ruined! Don't get a divorce now, I mean, it's all my fault. Uh, Derek, get a grip on yourself. Now, must be some way out of this. Hang on, hang on, I've got a brain wave coming. What? I've got a mate who's a lawyer. Well, at least he used to be a lawyer. <laughs> Take her round again, Bruce. Damn, been around six times already. I'm not having my daughter parked outside the church waiting for the flaming groom. Drive on, Bruce. Poor Angel, she'll be getting dizzy. I can't understand it. Derek said he had everything under control. You're mad, you're mad. Look, look, look. look. They'll never have agreed to it. They won't do it. They haven't got much choice. Anyway, you got a better idea?
give a telephone here on you? Yes, we... You must be clever. What's the way the light in Auckland's great? You could make it. You look just like Ray. The phone? Yes, there's a telephone in the vestry. Oh, great. I'll be back in a moment. Explain. When? Any moment now. Where is he? What have you done to Ray? speaking to us from a Russian trawler 300 miles off the coast. Uh, actually, close to 400 now. You see, they bounce the signal off a satellite. It's, it's yeah, I'll be bouncing something off someone in a moment. <laughs> Why? What happened? How could you do this to me? This is supposed to be our special day. Now, look, could we, could we perhaps all just oh, calm down? Oh, I've come all the way down from Auckland for this. Auckland? I've got people here from Canada, from Oregon, Portland, Oregon. We can't go through with this. Well, he reckons we can. No, we'll have to call the whole thing off. Well, do you know how much money I've spent? The halls booked, the caterers, the food. I've got a whole cattle beast out there. Mm, not to mention your marvellous margarine sculpture of the Statue of Liberty. Shut up. <laughs> this, this, this is all highly irregular. Yes, but are you prepared to go through with it? Well, I'm not very We'll happy. ask Glennis. <laughs> my little girl's prepared to go through with it. We're doing it. Good on you, Lance. Shut up, you little <laughs> Um, uh, friends, uh, I'm happy to say that we seem to be in a position uh, where we can begin the ceremony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man, uh, this woman, and, uh... Excuse me, Your Reverence, could you go a bit faster? I've only got a link book for ten minutes. <laughs> could you speak up a bit, please? <laughs> to join this woman and the man on the telephone in her matrimony. <laughs> matrimony is an honourable estate. It was an unusual service, Blanche, but one which admirably demonstrated the flexibility of the modern Anglican Church. It also must have been particularly novel for Ray. I, Raymond Zane... Right, it's your turn now, mate. Repeat after me. I, Raymond Zane. I, Raymond He goes along with all that, yeah. As long as you both shall live. As long as you both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Yeah, he says he does. I now pronounce you man and wife. He now pronounces you man and wife. Well, he's supposed to kiss the bride now. Well, what are we going to do? He says you're supposed to kiss the bride now. Oh, well, steady on, Ray. This is going out over the whole marine lady out there. Look here, yeah, this isn't good enough. He's supposed to kiss the bride. Uh, 
ลูกแห้งออกมาเดี๋ยวเราจะไปเจอกันอีกครั้งนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะไปเจอกันอีกครั้งนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะไปเจอกันอีกครั้งนะครับเดี๋ยวเรา